This is uh, uh, Majid and Mulhal in uh, Majid's workstation. And here we have the guts of an Epson printer. And this is going to be used, we're, we're going to put in a little LED uh, a diode detector, a photodiode detector here. And this is where the ink carriage used to be. And uh, Majid has cleverly uh, hacked the printer. So Majid, will you walk us through how we can, what we would like to know is, how do we know how far this moved and what direction it's moving and its position? Oh, sure. You have a sensor here that it could detect all these lines here. This is a film with very fine grain ah. inside the film. Oh, I got it right. So there's, there's, there's little black and white lines here. That's it. And then in behind here, in, in behind this lad, it, it, there's a photo detectors. Oh, awesome. So I got the uh, four wires from those sensors. There are two goes for the power and two are each for A and B output of the sensor. Now we connect these two outputs to our oscilloscope as a two channel, then I'm moving slowly to the right. Oh. That's the signal that comes out of it. And when I'm going to the left. Oh. This is it. So when I'm going to the right, the, the yellow one is ahead of the blue one rising and uh, dropping. Yes. And then I'm going to the left. Oh, no, the blue one the is, blue is, one is, is uh, uh, dropping before the yellow one. So that's how we could now... Oh, because there's, there's two sets of lines right. on that band. Oh, that's craziness. This is how we know that it's going to the left or to the right, the direction wise. And by counting those uh, pulse bit modulations, we could know our positioning. Our now, uh, how are we going to... So, we, we're going to take the, the output from these pins is what we're looking at on the oscilloscope. That's what we're getting over here with our little square waves as she's moving. See, I'm turning, I'm turning this motor. And as I turn the motor, we're getting the square waves. So, how are you going to interpret that signal? Do you have an Arduino or a Python code or something? There, there are a bunch of examples online you could find that how we could trigger those uh square waves perfect and how we could count them so imagine we if we add some uh, limit switch in one end of this system and then we move all the way back here yeah and then we start moving it to the left then we know our positioning is zero and then start counting and how many counts comes over here it could be 100 it could be 500 Depends on the lines inside that cell. Well, also, I think that we could just remove this band and look at it under a microscope and count we, them. We could do that. That, <laughs> that takes a lot Well, it's, time. You but think so? Yeah, I think it's spring-loaded here. I think it actually could be... Well, I think it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, we, we can, but this is good because then we can put our, we can put our um, candle or our wax sample here and then we can scan with the laser diode. We can scan the whole thing. Now, look. See, this is, this is when we move her across. This is what we see. I'm moving it across. So we, we can scan it slowly, and then also we can use the motor here. We can we can uh, we have a motor driver, and we can just send her, bzzz, and we can get our data. This is fantastic, excellent, Majid. I'm so excited for this. Good luck. Okay, so bye.